What's up everyone? So a little update for today is we got some window trim ready to be painted in the girls room. We put a coat of paint on the hatch and we put a coat of paint on the closet frame. I painted the main bathroom, got one coat on it, getting ready to do another coat <clears throat> before I go home. Painted the ceilings with semi-gloss. We had used a flat paint on them in the bathrooms and I was like, yeah, we probably need to put the uh, semi-gloss in there. Now for the bathrooms, well, I'll talk about that in a second. So no, one more thing that got done is the uh, wallpaper. Some of the wallpaper got taken down in the kitchen. So shout out to my Ma for that. Love you, Ma. And Ma worked on that some today and my uncle did a lot of some of the painting and the trim and stuff like that. So let me just show you. <clears throat> so around this window, we got, we had to sand the, the window stop here. All right, because it was an old base paint. So he sanded on that and just patched all the holes. That's just a normal, like min wax uh, wood filler. It dries pretty quick and you can shape up like little dents with it real easy. All right. So it's got that ready to probably sand that caulk it. Or no, not caulk it, probably paint it again tomorrow. Then here's a door frame with a coat on it. Then I sanded that spot to make it look more even so it definitely looks a lot more even and doesn't make the door look crooked the door was never crooked by the way it was just the wall the sheetrock meeting each other and then the door frame for the closet here that's got one coat of paint on it so let me head over to the bathroom i'm gonna give you a pause for a second so we're in the um main bathroom for the upstairs now again we went with this teal color because the tile was kind of too you can kind of see it right here behind me so it doesn't really look right, you know, but when you put it up against the trim here, you can see it really, you know, probably looks the best with the trim. So we painted this with, uh, let me just show you real quick. <clears throat> the Benjamin Moore Aurora paint. This is absolutely the best paint I've ever painted with. It is not budget friendly paint, but it is very good paint. Now, if you were on a budget, I would definitely say do not get the Aurora paint. But if you want a good paint at your house, you know, that would be the, the Aurora for a bathroom would be good. The guy actually told me they try not to sell it to homeowners because the paint dries so quickly and people that don't do a lot of painting try to paint into it after it dries and it makes it look real splotchy. But it's just one coat, the crown, my uncle put, I think three coats of paint on the crown. I think the crown's done. I will try to show you where I patched the, fill the ceiling in a little bit right here. So it was real wavy before. I don't know if you remember, look kind of bad. It looks a whole lot better. Still not perfect, right? It's just, you can't get things in the old house perfect. But there was a spot over here and then a spot here, you know. So I'm gonna try to roll on another paint or another semi-gloss coat on that. Turned out real good. It's looking really good. I would have took a video earlier, but when the paint was drying, it just looked real splotchy. So I try not to do that. So right here, you may be wondering what I'm going to do. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to get a light that the wire just fits in or if I'm going to end up mounting the box there. That's why I haven't done anything with it. But other than that, I will, you know, fix all that stuff once, once we figure out what kind of light we got. Now this cutout here is for a mirror. And actually when we were doing the rough end, we accidentally, oops, drilled through the wall and then the mirror come crashing down into a thousand pieces here. So <clears throat> we're going to get another mirror and put in there. And like I said, we'll fix that wire. So let me show you the other bathroom. So one thing before we go in the other bathroom, I think we got about three coats of paint on this door here. It's looking right fancy. <clears throat> and then we brushed some semi-gloss on this ceiling too because but originally we had just got the flat ceiling paint not even thinking you know hey it's in a bathroom we need to do that so my trim still hadn't caulked it yet had to do a lot of work today but i did add some pieces to it unfortunately where i cut that one piece an inch too short that allowed me to not have enough to finish so i gotta go and buy another piece and i just I'd, i could piece it here but i'd have like three pieces because my pieces are real short I really don't want to piece it. So the um, cans, you can kind of see the remodel cans now that the lights are out. So that's the flush mounted LED trims. 
and then it's just a standard um, can. And the way it actually works is it actually, the trim has like two wires coming off of it, a hot and a neutral. And the end of those two wires have what looks like an end of a bulb socket. And that just screws into the remodel can. So you can buy new cans and you can buy remodel cans. The new cans have to be nailed up where the remodel cans kind of just spring into the sheetrock that's there. Are the remodel cans as sturdy? I would say probably not, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're remodeling. You don't wanna take and just tear your whole house up just to get something. Nobody's gonna be pressing around the light. And it's still sturdy with the remodel can, but it's just not as good as it would be if it was nailed up. But still, it's still perfect. It still works. So I'm gonna take it to the kitchen real quick. I'm gonna pause it. So we're back in the kitchen and this wallpaper, we thought it was gonna come off kind of easy, but as you can see, you know, that's all she got done all day. No, I'm just joking about She did get it up here around this window. She worked over here. She got it down pretty good. I shouldn't say pretty good. She got it down real good. Anybody that's helping you pull wallpaper, it doesn't matter if they got a piece of it down or the whole thing. I mean, it's just, that's a lot of good help. You can kind of see here where it was tore up. So I'll have to come back and do something with this wall here. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of green looking and I'm sure it's some sort of oil base. So I don't know if it'd just be best to try to strip this stuff or what would be best. Um, but that's probably, I think everything for today. We'll show you, we got the trims down. Hopefully I can start on some windows before too long. And then some old 1960s wallpaper there behind the chair rail, kind of cool. May have showed you that before, but still kind of cool. I actually went into a house today that had some of that kind of wallpaper in it. And I was like, hey, I've seen that before. And it had this exact same chair rail too. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the update and we'll see you another day.